hello guys welcome to my seventh video on C programming in this video I will show you how to find the prime numbers so let's get started so as like as uh, in, uh, declare and initialize variables and for simplicity sake I am using some of the names you can use anything you wish enter the number of prime numbers required now we are going to get this input scanner plus hd comma and sony so now the sony variable holds uh, the user's input so this is the limit of uh, how many prime numbers has to be printed so now we'll create a for loop let's make this x no is del is equal to 0 del up to sony del plus plus and here comes the another for loop HDV is equal to zero. HDV up to the HDV plus plus. So these are the two for loops to be used in this uh, prime number program. So each for loop has some uh, statements. Uh, so this one has statement one. And then it has statement two. So to find out the fact of prime num uh, prime numbers, we are going to have two statements. Okay. So instead of writing two for loops uh, independent, we are going to make them uh, dependent by <coughs> by making uh, them uh, by by putting this for loop inside this for loop itself. So just cut this one and paste it here. That's it. So this statement comes under here right. <coughs> right now the basic thing is uh, the smallest prime number is 2 so we should begin the for loop with 2 so both the inner and the outer loop begins with the for loop uh, with the initial value of 2 right now the now this is the outer loop so uh, the outer loop is going to have statement one and it is this one if now if del is equal to hdv then printer is the So now uh, this loop, uh, this uh, if statement is placed under the outer loop. Um, so <coughs> what this uh, if statement does is uh, this statement will pick out the element uh, element in uh, from uh, element that is in both, which means uh, the del's element which is equal to hdz okay so if it is 2 and this hdz uh, value is 2 then this uh, if loop will be if statement will be executed okay now uh, here you can either put del or hdz because both the values are equal only then this statement gets executed so the statement 1 is over here comes the statement 2 which is more important now the statement 2 so this statement 2 is going to uh, take the element from each element uh, from this del loop and uh, divide it with the hdz loop, loop value so, uh, so <coughs> if 
cell modulus hdz is equal to 0 now uh, this uh, if statement will will divide each element from this del's loop value with this hdz's loop value uh, loop value and if the result is uh, 0 then you have to break this break the loop execution so if it is a uh, 1 then it will straight away uh, go to this uh, outer uh, outer loops uh, if statement then this statement will be executed um, okay let me run this program and uh, I will show you run the program and see what happens let's make test 10 oops get this one and test work here right here we go here I got the answer right so now let me explain it to you more copy this and paste over here HTC HTC come out and copy and paste the same thing right now let's run the program and I will explain it right Now, um, uh, now I have uh, input the number as a uh, five, so the del loop starts looping. Uh, the this initial condition for a uh, del is to begin from two, and it has to loop up to five. Okay. Now, uh, when the loop starts execution for the first time, the value of uh, del is two, right? So we got the del is two, and then. When it hits this uh, HDZ's loop, the um, HDZ's initial value is 2, right? And this DEL's uh, value on that time hitting this uh, for loop is 2. So when both the conditions are uh, equal, the initial and the test conditions are equal, nothing uh, under this uh, for loop will get executed. So it uh, moves to the uh, it moves to the uh, statement outside the for loop second Oops. like this right <coughs> and it moves outside so uh, mm, uh, now here you can see that uh, uh, here uh, when the del is 2 and the hdz is 2 nothing happens because both uh, when both the conditions are equal nothing uh, under the for loop gets executed and uh, when it is executed for the thir for the second time uh, the del's value here 2 is incremented with 1 uh, so we got del is 3 and uh, the hdz is 2 so now um, oh here uh, this uh, well, what uh, this loop does is it will divide uh, the uh, del's value is 3 so 3 with the hdz's value is 2 so we know that 3 when uh, divided by 2 we get the remainder 1 so uh, this uh, this statement evaluates to false and it causes here this statement to run uh, run so we got so we know that 3 is a prime number 
so we got the answer 3 and uh, when when the del is executed for the fourth for the third time uh, the value of a 3 is incremented with the 1 so we got del 4 and the hdc is 2 uh, when it hits uh, this the hdc is 2 so it's going to look for uh, del's uh, amount so it's go it going to look for four times and yeah here so now uh, it's going to uh, terminate uh, it's going to divide this 4 with 2 so when it is divided with 2 we know that uh, the remainder is 0 so it uh, the break statement will be called so okay one second just write Here you can see that when a 4 is uh, divided by 2, we get the remainder 0. So the break statement is called. Other than that, all the numbers apart from 4 divided by 2, uh, 2 uh, is uh, is with the remainder 1. So all the other things are, uh, are the prime numbers. Uh, so that's it. So uh, hope you guys could understand this. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.